Welcome to this episode of The More You Know, a series of short videos produced by the Pennsylvania Link to Aging and Disability Resource Service Area 13 partners. Service Area 13 consists of Berks, Lancaster, and Lebanon counties, and it's one of the 15 service areas across the Commonwealth that exist to provide long-term living information and resources for persons aged 60 and over, persons with a disability, veterans, family members, and caregivers. Hello, my name is Margie Degler-Pizarro, your host for this series. I am a geriatric and palliative care nurse practitioner who is a passionate advocate for abundant living and aging. The Pennsylvania Link to Aging and Disability Resources is part of a nationwide initiative developed to take a seamless approach in the way that we assist seniors and adults with disabilities who need help with activities of daily living. When you need long-term living information or assistance, call the Pennsylvania Link to Aging and Disability Resource Center toll-free helpline at 1-800-753-8827. The title of today's episode is Getting to Know Story Catchers. The name and title of my guest is Carolyn Brady Beeler, the owner of this fantastic program. And as always, the purpose for today's interview is to bring a renewed awareness about this service and to discuss it in detail so that our service providers, as well as those persons needing this service, have a reliable and up-to-date source of information. Carolyn, thank you so much for being here today. I want you to tell a little bit about yourself and if you were to sum up in just one or two sentences what Story Catchers is all about, how would you share that? Thanks for being here. Yes, um, thank you. I'm so happy to be here and just so happy to be able to spread the word about the importance of saving life stories. So that's what Story Catchers is all about. We want to encourage people to just hit that record button, save a story. Um, it'll, it'll just benefit the family, of course, but also benefit so much the person that's being interviewed. So hopefully today we can share some of that and even give some tips about how people can get it done. That'll be fantastic. So can you share in a little bit more detail exactly how you capture these stories? Who can contact you? What type of stories that you capture? And give us a broad overview, if you would, please. Okay, yeah, sure. Um, and, and basically what we do, it's an all audio process. And we go to the person's home, set up the microphones, the digital recorder, and usually at a table, but it's wherever the person's most comfortable, we make it work. And um, start recording and just talk about someone's life. And from beginning to end, if you need to take a break in the middle, it's really relaxed and comfortable. And most of the time we don't know the person. And so there isn't that, uh, Story Catchers like has no history uh, with the person, no drama, no bad feelings, you know, and so, everything is positive and we're just there to capture the story. So that's kind of how it works. I just love it. I had an opportunity to hear some of these stories in the past and I'm hopeful that you'll be able to share some with us today. Yes, yes. And can I do that now? We'll Absolutely, do let's do that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna share my screen and I'll pull up some things here. Hold on. Okay, so as long as you can see it all, I will, I'll get going and I'll play a couple sound bites that I think people will find enjoyable. That's great, I see your slide. Okay, so like right here, this picture, this is an example of just a finished product that's on, uh, on CD in a box. And this quote is, is really special to us. It's by Jan Lavanzant. It's important that we share our experiences with other people. Your story will heal you and your story will heal somebody else. When you tell your story, you free yourself and you give other people permission to acknowledge their own story. I think the reason that resonates with us so much is you, when you're giving your story, you're just talking about your life and you're having fun. You don't realize that you're actually healing yourself sometimes just kind of being vulnerable and telling things maybe you've never told anybody before. 
So that's always been a special one. And, and hopefully it, it will help people, you know, that decide to share their story. Okay, so I'll move on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, like a lifetime of memories, this shows a picture from when she was younger in her 20s, and then also a picture when she's older. And, um, and in this interview, this was in Reading, Pennsylvania, and her daughter joined us for a, a big portion of it. And I had asked her about just music and her daughter remembered a song that she used to sing, uh, that she used to sing to the kids. But um, you'll appreciate it because it's funny because they can't remember the words. So I'm gonna let you listen. Listen, she's- You wanna sing, sing it with me? She used to sing this song to us on the air. Can you sing it with me? I don't know. Try. You can hum. Evelina, won't you try to take a shine to that moon? Evelina, won't you listen to that Bobble Links tune? Tell me, tell me how long What's wrong? you on playing the day. The day. Uh, uh, the that way. Way. <laughs> Evelina, won't you take a shine to that moon? Wake up, wake up, the earth is fair, the fruit is fine. But what's the use of smelling watermelon and clinging to the other fellow's spine? Evelina, won't you ever take a shine to that moon? Evelina, ain't you bothered by the bobbling tune? Another reason I shared this too is just to show you can have a little fun with it if you know someone's struggling to find the song and they didn't even know how they knew it. And so I, they were really excited with the finished product because it was easy to find and, and just kind of adding it in there made it extra special. So I'll play another one for you. Lovely picture here on the left. Um, this is the one she definitely wanted to use on her CD package. She just thought it captured them you know, so perfectly laughing at their wedding. Uh, and this is um, Jody and Eric Ashley. And uh, she had said, um, the qu oh, the question was uh, about their first date. So let's listen in. <laughs> you thought I was cute. Yeah, well, you know, it worked out so I can see what happens at the end of the night, you know. <laughs> helping each other like jog their memories so they can remember the you know what happened on their dates and stuff like that okay and so this uh, the reason I wrote making a new memory is because so often you're sharing your memories but when you get together and your family members are around and the dog's sitting on the lap and you're talking about things maybe you haven't talked about before it just becomes a new very special memory for the family so uh, let's uh, listen into this it's Jim Anderson and um, it's uh, toward the end of the interview. Is there anything you still want to do? I'll be 89 this week. I've got to figure out that I'll be 100 on the 14th of May, and the twin boys will graduate from high school first week of June. And I plan to be at that graduation. Well, that's a good goal to have. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, dear. Thank you so much. Standing on the promises of Christ my King through eternity. And that song was chosen just because that is his favorite song. So a lot of times uh, ending an interview with that makes it extra special too. That's okay. beautiful. So beautiful. I'd love to hear this one and really have you share those tips that you are going to share with us if you're willing to do that. 
Definitely. Okay, this is the last one. And this is really nice because uh, obviously on the left was their marriage picture. And then this is them currently. And um, he was a, a um, how am I saying? Oh, doo-wop singer. And, you know, when I showed up at the interview, I had no idea, you know, that, you know, that he sang and was, he was in bands all his life. And so uh, I'll have you listen in um, as they uh, talk about her favorite song. Come on. Sandy, did you have a favorite song that they did? What was it? Did that song? <laughs> Uh, the Capri's did a, a song, they resurrected, the Capri's did There's a Moon Out Tonight. You probably heard that song. Ambient Sound did a bunch of, they brought back five doo-wop groups in the 80s. And uh, they did a song called Morse Code of Love that everybody thinks is an old, old song, and it's not. They recorded that in 82. And it's, the bass just goes constantly. It's, uh, That's you. Yeah, and it just said that, and you, I mean, you're racing through this thing, and they're singing all, but that's my the whole way through this thing. Wow. It's a uh, dance song. See, we were a dance band. Everywhere we went, people danced. It was a great run. We had a lot of fun. Okay, that's the end of that one. So, um, but the last thing to say about this was just when you see somebody, it's another reason just to, you don't know their story. You know, if, if you just saw him on the, you know, on the road or in the grocery store, you wouldn't know his whole life. He was, you know, a singer and he had that in him. So that's one of our, you know, favorites. It is. And these are going to be memories for these people that they'll remember forever. And so if people are watching this and saying, I just love to be able to record memories, how would they get a hold of you, Carolyn? Oh, sure. So I definitely would just go to my website. Everything's there. It's www.thestorycatchers.com. Uh, it has phone number, Facebook, anything you need. Uh, phone number is though, in case you you know aren't able to you know get on the get on get a, to the website, is 717-891-1557. Perfect. And if you were to give us perhaps five pointers on if people wanted to try to do this themselves to capture some memories in audio and video, what would you share? Okay. So I do have a screen here and I'll go over a couple things. Let's get there. Uh, and I'll give the overview. You can do a one on one interview, which we definitely recommend. Uh, the person will reveal more about, you know, their life without an audience present. Uh, there can also be a family gathering interview, and this can help the person remember things, jog memories, like I mentioned earlier. Uh, the reason this may be chosen could be because the interviewer, though, feels uncomfortable doing it by themselves. And that's common. I mean, a lot of times, you know, we don't sit down and just talk to somebody about their life and their feelings, and having another person there will help sometimes. So setting up the interview uh, is first. Before the interview, I would say make an appointment and have them put it on their calendar or they're gonna just say, no, I don't feel like doing it today. So that's another big one. Um, and bring a list of questions. So showing up, even if it's 10, 20 questions and that's it, it'll keep you going and you won't hit that uh, time where you don't know what to say. And then you go, okay, that's enough. And then you stop the interview. So if you have the questions ahead of times, it helps a lot. During the interview, I always say the day, date, and location at the beginning, uh, and the person who's being interviewed, and your name, um, and then just keep it about them. So if, if there's going to be that, you know, you're going to want to say something or say, oh, I know what you mean. I did that too, but try and just keep it about the person. Those and are great, great tips, <laughs> Carolyn. So one more time, if people want to know how to get a hold of you for you to professionally record something that they'll have forever as a memory, how do they do that? www 
thestorycatchers.com. And the phone number is 717-891-1557. All right, Carolyn, thank you so much for this excellent presentation that we got to hear and see these memories and sharing the more you know by the Pennsylvania Link to Aging and Disability Resource Service Area 13 Partners Network. My name is Margie degler Pizarro. I thank you for joining us today. Be well and remember, when you need long-term information or assistance, call the PA Link to Aging and Disability Resource Center toll-free helpline at 1-800-753-8827. And now I'm going to go ahead and put that slide up on the screen so that everybody can see it as we're ending. There you have it. Carolyn, thank you again. This was such a fun interview. I know everybody's going to really enjoy this. Thank you. It was wonderful. Okay. Take care and be well.